Hello, Chris Scott and Guten Tag. Why social media and why should I actually bother about it? That is the question I want to answer today because I get this asked a lot. If you don't know me, my name is Annette Block, Facebook and real estate marketing mentor and using social media and being bothered and why you want to find out today. Should you do social media and why bother with? Yes, you should do social media and be bothered by it. Because very simple, if you are not on social media, many will see you that you are not a real business, that you are not established. And let me explain a little bit deeper. Remember when we had the times, uh, we here in South Florida, we had the Sun Sentinel, we had Sundays an extra portion of all our real estate advertising. You got a special code and people could contact you with that special code. It was in the newspaper and when you was not in the newspaper, you was not seen as a real business. Then we also went into phone books. Your business had to have an establishment and presence in the phone book and you had an office. If you didn't, you was not a real business. And I even want to go a little bit into my time where we started out using websites. If you don't have a website or back then when I started out, if we didn't have a website, then we didn't have a real business. We didn't was a real real estate agent or even a real real estate brokerage. But fast forward today, and especially where we know and NAR gave us the statistics that the millenniums are the biggest source now who are buying houses and those millenniums expect you to have an online presence, to have a Facebook business page, or at least that they can find you on Facebook, or otherwise you will not have a real business. So that's why we encourage you to have your Facebook business pages set up because for those millenniums, they will go to Facebook and will look you up. If they cannot find you, most likely they will move on to the next one they can find online. So millenniums do have the biggest buying power when they want to buy when they are moving into buying their first home or a home in general. So they will look you up as an agent if you have a social media presence. So it's not only Facebook, but a social media presence. And you know, I'm talking all about your client avatar. So understand where they are hanging out. If they are hanging out on Instagram, you want to go and start using Instagram, but at least have a Facebook presence so that they can find you. And even when they Google you, Facebook will help you that you show up on Google when they are Googling you. But I was reading something yesterday or two times, uh, two days ago, where I didn't look into it. I just saw the headline where Google announced that now the new generation Z goes first on YouTube or even on TikTok or on social media in general and searching for certain terms so that Google now will make some adjustments because they are losing those um, Gen Z and Millennium. So that's why I think it is important for you that you use social media, have a presence on social media and be consistent. So even if they find you, that they don't see that you are not active and maybe you just started your page three, four years ago and you never post it again. You want to post on social media and provide valuable and relevant content, especially where millenniums are having the biggest how a power to buy houses. They are now the ones 
who are the biggest generation that will move into the housing market. So, yes, again, short, yes, you should have social media presence. Yes, you want to be bothered by it, especially when you are in a community that see millenniums and even generation C moving in. And why? Because when I can do it, you certainly can do it. So think about it. When I can do it, you can do it. Create your presence. Be consistent about it and be out there because gen the millenniums will come and they are, by the NAR statistics, the groups that has the most buying power for the housing market. So just quick and short, if I can do it, you can do it. Thanks for watching. Dankeschön and auf Wiedersehen.